Welcome to one of the most craziest and most chaotic 100 days you will have ever seen. In this 100 days, I've downloaded every dynamo available within the arc and put them together for the most chaotic experiences arc can give. And just like the first 100 day all mods, I'll be spinning a wheel to decide which endgame boss from which mod I have to defeat. This chaotic journey started from the moment I spawned myself in at the good old trusty Viking Bay. What? <laughs> this is that? What is that? That's a gas bag? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Having a great time. Oh my. Oh, dude. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna. What's going on, man? Is that a Watata? Or whatever it's called. I'm great at Pokemon names. Yep. So that turtle you just saw is one of the lower tier god dinos. Once I get a decent footing in this 100 days later in the video, you will see some much cooler and crazier stuff. What is happening? Oh, Basilisk. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to go. What is above my head? Oh, look at a big boy. Leave me alone, okay? Oh, that's a demonic? Oh, dude, I I don't know how, how I'm gonna survive this. Okay, Dodo's coming. Why is that? <laughs> that dog walks. Oh, what's going on, my little man? An r d <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, well. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, dude. He's not okay, well. Go away, Dodo. Nobody likes you, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, you know what? Dude! Oh my god! Yeah, well... Uh, okay. I am... I am dead. Oh! Alright, well... I'm just gonna... Yeah, don't mind me, okay? Alright. What the heck is that? That's a griffin without wings? That looks retarded. Oh, dude, the dodo just left me alone. Oh, yes, yeah, wings now. Dude, after that dodo chase, I quickly ran away from this area, or at least that was the plan until I got distracted by a Pikachu. What's going on, man? Shiny Pikachu? Oh, I should name that. I was going up on this hill until I got distracted once again. Oh, I should name all them all. Oh. Whoa, oh! Oh, okay, um, yeah, you know what, maybe I shouldn't just press random buttons and, okay, well, yeah, so if dinos aren't trying to kill me, it's my own freaking brain giving me intrusive thoughts, which end up killing me. Luckily, this one didn't end up killing me, so I made my way towards this ledge where I could wait out the night. Is that a giant Sarko? Oh, that's a stone Sarko. Oh, man, I, I don't know, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. I did get myself some wooden thatch, though I need the stone which I did not have, so I laid myself down and waited out the night so I could heal myself up. And honestly, thinking back just a few minutes ago, this was probably the most chaotic start I've had so far. And <laughs> well, I promise you, things are gonna get very spicy later in this video. The next day, I jumped down and made my way towards the beach crates. On my way there, I actually found a dead bag with stone tools in it, which was exactly what I needed in order to open up those loot crates. Please give me a pick. What? Alright, well... Oh! What the heck? Uh, yeah, you know what? You can, you can have the... Dude, they are like pegos, are you kidding me? I destroyed each loot crate to try and get metal tools, but it seems Ragnarok gods just aren't on my side this time. They gave me the worst loot possible, and if I'm gonna fight godlike dinos like the one you saw in the beginning, I need to have good stuff, you know? Okay, well that was pretty much... Uh... Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Ragnarok. You know what? Get out of here, you know? <laughs> That's, oh my, he's fast. Okay, well. After that, I wanted to continue looking for crates. So far in the distance, I saw a beautiful bag with a red smoke, which means most of the times there could be good loot. However, that also means something strong probably killed it. Then knowing that, I still went for it as I couldn't contain my curiosity. Oh, I see that stuff though. That's not good. It's a Pokemon. 
Okay, well, he saw me. Uh, I'm just gonna be quick. Ooh, I get a sword. Oh, it's not a bag. Oh. Dude, that track looks... Dude, everything is so shiny. I, that track looks great. I get the, I'm getting distracted a lot, though. Uh, get a sword. Copper spear dipped in poison. Do 50% more damage than a regular metal pike. Sweet. That's nice. Don't know what we need that for, but I'll take it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a rock drake. Are you kidding me? Ooh, okay. Oh, man. I love these bags. Oh, okay. Well, it just... Oh, dude, no. No, 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 no. With this ratata chasing me, I quickly ran up the hill where I saw the most scariest creation up until now. A freaking dodo with a dodo race helmet. Are you kidding me? What? The okay. Well, you know what? Um, yep, I'm good. Oh, it's slow. Oh, that's good. What the heck is that? And there's a raptor. Um, oh, Gally, don't do it. You're gonna lead the raptor to me. Oh! Okay, well... Oh, what? The Gally killed me? I thought it was a raptor. The Gally is dangerous. Great. That's... That's <laughs> that's good to know. Okay, well... Let's see if we can get my stuff back. I spawned back in, and that's when I realized that Arc Supreme was installed, which means that when I die, I lose a certain percentage of my XP, which makes this holiday taste like 10 times harder than it already is. I ran all the way back, but I just got me killed by this Alpha Bronto, so I tried it from a different angle, which did end up working, as whenever I respawn, the guy I'm up against me a spawn buff that makes Dinos unable to kill me for a few seconds. Oh no, I'm just gonna pick it up with G. No, don't pick you up. Is that an Oh, that's a new Kado, though. Oh, that's cool. It's a minion, though. Probably from that, though, though. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I wanted to go up to the giant cave, which is not far from here, though that plan quickly got scratched as a giant spirit or celestial dino is in my path towards the cave. Oh! oh okay, you know what? I legit got a jump scare from that, thank you. <laughs> like I'm playing a freaking horror game, are you kidding me? It's not a horror. Okay, you know what? Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. Kinda wanna go to the cave there, but you know, seems that's not on the plan today. So since I couldn't go to the cave, I decided to go towards the blue obelisk as I had hoped it would be a bit less chaotic there, but it seems I was very wrong about that. No, go away, little rat. It's a galley. I hate galleys. I think I'm good to go. If I go this way. What? Oh, there's another robot. What is your name, a little thing? Oh, it's a... Uh... Okay, yeah, never mind. I went all the way towards the end of this beach where I decided to finally make my first little box so I could be a bit safe and plan my journey from here. As from here on out, I got lots to do before I can make it to the god tiers. Oh, well... Oh, no, oh my god, I get in. Once I made it in my base, I noticed I had cool looking beams in my inventory, so I decided to craft one, which once I turned it on, I immediately got ganged on by a group of angry Pokemons. What does it do? It just... Oh, it's a beacon, of course. That's cool, I guess. Oh, very bright, though. Just gonna turn it off again. Oh, dude, do you, do you really have to be... Okay, you know what? Great. You know what? Let, let the beacon blind them. They can't see me. Oh, okay, hey, go, hey, dude. Ratty cake, ratty cake, probably. Go away. No need, okay. Oh, you stuck? <laughs> oh, okay, all oh, right, well. My house just got deleted out of existence. Great, that's, uh... Don't mess with Pokemons, noted. After that, I went back and took my stuff. Luckily, the base was still in one piece, so I decided to just ignore the Pokemon for now, since it's stuck anyways. Dude, leave me alone. Oh, actually, now we do have a meat, don't we? Oh, yes. It's my own meat, but you know, I, I'm kind of quite tasty, you know? I then started killing this strike for its height as I wanted to make the Supreme Wrath, but for that, I need a bunch of fiber and wood. So I gathered all the wood I needed and did the same for the fiber so I could then craft myself the Supreme Wrath. I placed it down, brought the juicy hook meat I just harvested for my corpse and headed towards a new location. And just when I was about to approach an interesting location, this happened. Oh. 
Okay, great. <laughs> oh, I guess I will uh, be back in a freaking 10 hours until I'm loaded into the server. I then logged back in and landed on this island. On this island, there is a very interesting location. This island has a giant staircase going down with a cool building cave beneath it, which would be perfect for my base if I don't want it to get destroyed. So I decided to settle here and started building some foundations, but then while I was building stuff, this happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can be here, that's fine. It's a Danny, Danny Shinehorn. Oh, it's probably from Gaia. Okay, oh no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, so, oh, okay, okay. I, I hate galleys, they are so disgusting, you know what? I'm gonna kill every galley I see. So yeah, this just further justifies my hate for galleys. I spawned back in at the beach and started harvesting for a new boat as I completely forgot to put a bed at my place. Oh my god. Dude! That looks actually really majestic, actually. Is this aggressive? Yo, I'm not gonna go come close. Once I made it back, the galley was stuck, so I got my revenge and killed it. What's going on, man? I'm gonna die. Are you definitely dead? Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Frick on his face. I then immediately started putting down spike walls to block creatures from coming in again. I then crafted myself the Supreme Forge to start cooking up some metal as I wanted to get into the metal tools. I had a little bit metal which was enough to craft myself a smithy. I then made a metal pike and with that pike I got myself a bunch of metal so I could then craft a metal hatchet. I also crafted a set of unbreakable desert cloth which probably will do absolutely nothing if one of those god dinos decided to kill me but it felt a bit comfortable. After that, I went out to see if I could tame my first creature. Oh no. Oh, Pterodon. Ah. That's annoying. Can I ball it? Oh, wait. Okay. Well. Famous last words. Can I ball it? Once I spawned back in, I quickly got my stuff back and then headed towards a different location. Because this part of the island is way too dangerous at my current level. I did find the same Patera again, so I decided to use a Trank Bola on her, but it didn't do enough Torpor fast enough, so I had to come up with a different way to apply Torpor to stuff. So I crafted myself this Parados Trank Spear in the hopes that would do a lot of Torpor, only it was kind of broken, which kind of makes me look stupid with my hands in the air like that. But luckily I'm on my own on this giant island, so I just went with it. I took my boat to the other side of this island to look for thames as right now I'm desperately in need of a good berry harvester and a bird so I could progress further. I quickly bowled out this giant yes. patera which was enough to knock her out and then gave her my meat. While waiting I also decided to knock out this giant vanilla trike as I need this one in order to make better tranks. A day went by and my patera was tamed, the trike on the other hand was taking way too long so I just went back to the base with my patera. However, back at the base, I was not yet the level I needed to be for the Patera saddle, so I went and crafted a bunch of canoes, as these give one or two levels per craft, so I continued doing this until I could craft the Patera saddle. I then named my Patera Badonke and went out. Finally, I now made it in the air, which to be honest, I had a slow start, but now stuff should start going much faster, as I got lots to do in order to make it to those OP god dinos. However, there was one problem with this Patera, it's literally the worst Patera I ever used, like it has to land every 5 seconds, which makes flying around really, really hard and dangerous. Though despite that problem, I just went with it, because I was way too excited to explore this map with all of the dangerous dinos on it. I went over to the snow biome, because I needed some crystal for an awesome spike glass, however this biome is spammed with dangerous bosses. Luckily, the crystal is safe in a cave so I mined a bit of it and then returned back. Back at the base I made myself a spyglass and I went to check which strength arrows would be the best to use. However since my own mod Arc Supreme is installed I knew which arrows would be the best which is the delta arrows. So I made myself a supreme cauldron because it's really fast in crafting. Once the arrows were crafted I was ready to tame my first proper modded dino. The first thing I did was to knock out this giant elder meganora because I was tired of having to land every 5 seconds with my patera. Yes. I then briefly admired this legendary Stego. I mean, he's so legendary he doesn't even have to walk. After that, the Meganora was done taming. One issue though is that the camera is kind of okay. janky. The camera is kind of janky, like oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, well, it's probably because of the uh, size mod. How much damage does it do? Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna be so helpful. However, while I was testing out its damage, I kind of forgot about the Badonke. Oh, no! Oh, the heck? Though to be honest, I wasn't too bothered about it. I named my new flyer Kevin and I went out to tame something new. However, as I was flying around, I came across the weirdest stuff like this turtle with giant guns on its back. 
Oh man. I also came across a Dragon Sparrow, which is one of the OP god dinosaurs we'll see later in the video. Dragon Sparrow? Oh, that's cool. Wait, are you coming to me? Okay. Though luckily it just started me as an ant and didn't attack me. Honestly, I was having a blast just looking and exploring all the weird creatures on this map. The <laughs> Akukiri? Yeah, I totally butchered that name, I think, but... Man. It actually kind of looks a little bit retarded, but uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go. A little bit later, I was trying to find something at my level to tame up until I came across this guy which could easily go into my top 10 things in Ark, which I really want to tame. He is. Oh my god, he blipped him out of existence. And then after all these hours flying around, I settled for a Neolithic Dilo, which kind of seems lame after I just oh showed god. off those OP god dinos. But this Dilo is the only dino at my level at the moment. And it's a giant Dilo, I mean, who doesn't want one? Once tamed, I brought it back to the base and gave it a saddle. Oh, but there are saddles. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we can spit. How much damage do we do? Oh no, that's not... Oh my god. Oh, that's so bad. That's <laughs> so bad! No! Yeah, so it turns out this Dilo is absolutely a stinker. Like, it does worse damage than my Dragonfly. So because of that, I named it Tinky. And just put it within base so it can stand there and look pretty. Though since it was a disappointment, I just had to get something new. However, before that, I forgot something really important that needs to be done for this one of my days. Oh, dude, I forgot to spin the wheel. Oh, we need the, uh, we need to, uh... Yeah, we need to do that. So since this 100 days has so many mods in it, making it impossible for me to beat all of them within 100 days, I use this wheel to decide which end boss from which mod I have to beat at the end of this 100 days. So the wheel landed on Primal Fear, which would be really fun to beat again, but I just did a hardcore 100 days Primal Fear, which if you haven't watched it yet, definitely check that out. However, since I just made a video on that, I decided to spin the wheel again. This time it landed on 4 World Mid. Now this is actually the mod where those OP God Dinos come from. And if you watched my first 100 day all modded, you will know how insane one of those bosses can be. So this means I will actually have to give it a decent try to beat one of those bosses. So with that in mind, I decided to step things up by taming this Divine Trike as I got lots to do before I can make it to the God level. Though this trike will be very useful for gathering and it has lots of health too which is perfect. Once knocked out, I gave it a few berries so I could start taming and since this would take quite a bit of time, I flew off in the hopes to find a fabled dino in the area as they drop taming potions that make things go much faster. And while I'm flying around, I do quickly want to let you know that I'm currently doing an almost daily series which is even crazier than this haunted day, so definitely come and check that out. However, with so many mods installed, a full day already went by and I've yet to find a fable. However, then I found this which also could easily go into my top 10 things that look really cool. Ooh! Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, all right. Oh my god. Oh, it's. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, it's fast. Oh, I want it. It's only a level eighty. Oh, that's epic! Oh, one more hit and I'm dead though. And then the next day, after still trying to find a fable, I found this monstrosity. I just can't catch a break. I keep finding the oh! worst creatures on this map. <laughs> what is that, Wutolong? Hey, yo. Yo, nah, that's not allowed. Oh, it just blipped away? <laughs> oh, it's gone. No, it's there. Oh, it is there. Okay, well. That, that should not be allowed, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Yep. Luckily, like a minute later, I finally found what I was looking for. Only I was a little bit too excited about it. Oh. <laughs> la la la. Je ne parle pas. Alright, that didn't make sense. Um. Uh, dreadful Parasol, maybe? Hmm. Now I just need to find something that could kill the Fable for me. See, I need them to aggro on me. I'm just gonna... Bloop, nibble, nibble. Oh, no. 
Nibble, nibble. Okay, you know what? Shut up, shut up. You know what? Die, dude. Oh, that's so... Oh, wait. Oh, he, he can kill the beaver stars. This wood motor was insanely loud, but it was a perfect creature to help me kill these beavers. Oh, I got it, I got it. Once the Fabled were killed, I quickly swooped in and collected all of the bags. Now, the thing is, because it took so long for me to actually find the Fabled, the Trike was pretty much already tamed up. However, I was impatient, so I still gave it a taming portion. And then once it was finally tamed, I went back yeah. to the base. Now we are finally back at the base, however, to make the Gaia Divine Trike saddle, I have to do a few special things. In order to craft the saddle, I need one of those special crafting stations. However, for those, I need souls, like a bunch of them. And I can only get them with the Gaia harvesting tools. I then just need to hit a few bushes and trees or rocks and that will get me the souls I need. Once that is done, I can craft the Gaia statue, which is where you can craft all of the Gaia benches. In my case, I needed the Artemis one which is where I craft a divine trike saddle. However, there is a small problem. I need to kill at least three divine creatures before I can make the saddle. So I had to kill these divines with my trike while I'm standing in the back. I threw my trike out, and named it Jeff, and then went to attack something. Ooh, that's some sweet damage. Oh no. Yeah, you know, I... Uh <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done. Yeah, so I kind of rage quit it there. I've actually never before rage quit in art, so this was quite interesting. I think I was just so annoyed at that moment because I spent days searching for taming potions just to tame that up, only for it to die in two seconds. Which, now that I look back at it, 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 it was kind of funny, but yeah, you know, I, I was really annoyed. After a quick break, I took my boat back to the island to see if I could recover my stuff. I got back, took my stuff, and then tried to harvest my trike, which wasn't the smartest choice. Okay, now, uh, you know what? Oh, this, 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 is, this is great, it's great. After another quick break, I got my stuff back and then quickly returned back to the base. And since I'm basically at square one again, I made some new delta arrows and went out to tame something new again. I ended up finding a new divine trike, however there was something quite disturbing in this area. That sound was driving me crazy. Dude, why is there something moaning inside my- are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop! So I had to lure the trike to a different location first before I could knock it out. Once I was out of the range of that sound, I started knocking out this trike. Once knocked out, I realized I completely forgot my taming potions and berries, so I had to quickly return back to the base. Um, okay. Oh, my dinky as well. Alright, alright. <laughs> want to kill that dodo, I swear. I'm gonna get, take my revenge. I'm gonna have my revenge. I swear, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, it's safe to say that I'm starting to get a hate for dodos. At this point, I was determined to slaughter every dodo I see in the future once I get a dragon or something. Though for now, I will have to try and avoid these dodos and I still need to get my stuff back. Dude, my poor dinky. Oh, that's rough, man. Look at him. It's like a slender man. Oh my god. His body got warped in... I don't know. Dude, can I... It was a... Okay, that's a demon person right there. Oh, it's gonna aggro on me. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. Nope. It moved, it moved. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm going different, a uh, different way. Oh. Oh wait, perfect, perfect. Wait, yeah, go away, Dodo. Right. Yes, beautiful. Look at that evil thing. Stop staring at me. Oh, there, don't please don't aggravate it. Once I got my stuff back, I took the rafts back to the trike in Viking Bay. However, at this point, this can't be a coincidence. I feel like the Arcos are just punishing me or something. Oh no, 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 no. Dude, nah, it's, mm, the Arcos are doing this on purpose or something, dude. There's no way. I swear if that stupid Dodo kills my trike. I will, f I will come to your house. Oh my god. 
Oh, you know what? Did it kill the trike? Oh, it did not kill the trike. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. As long as it, as it doesn't kill my trike, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I hate that dodo, dude. I want to kill it so badly. I just can't, you know. Is it killed my trike? You know what? I have the spawn buff, right? Hey, what's going on, man? You want to come? Come this way, yeah, this way, this way. That's fine, that's fine. What the heck was that kind of sound? Alright. Yeah, yeah, I just dropped some bombs. That's fine, that's fine. I'm good with that. Just come this way. Right, now we can die because the buff is gone. But I think I successfully um, moved the dodo, so that's good. I think he's gonna leave us alone now. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Luckily, this encounter was quickly taken care of, and I could just peacefully wait for my new trike to tame. Yes, alright. You name me Brian? Right. Alright, Brain? Alright, uh, yeah, Brain. Come on, man. While I was at it, I made sure to get myself three souls so I could craft uh, the trike saddle. Yeah, kill that. Oh, well, the previous strike was a little bit better, but... Oh, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Just need the soul, so. Once that was done, I returned back to the base, crafted the trike cello, and then went to a safe place, where I happened to find a divine Pterra, which is perfect since my dragonfly died. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, well. Wait, hey! Oh my god. Oh, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What the heck is that? I've never seen a bug like that. Um. Oh my god, okay, well, I'm, I'm not going into that ocean. Dude, it keeps going. I, I can't even see it anymore. Okay, well. <laughs> what the? F okay. Alright, cool. I, uh... Yeah, that just happened. <clears throat> that is probably one of the top 10 bugs I've seen in Ark. Luckily, a wind gas bug was nearby, which is one of my favorite dinos within Ark, so I decided to tame this instead. Once it was knocked out, I gave it some food and then finally went on my trike on the little harvesting spree. I also found this giraffe, which was really cool looking, though it's way too strong for me to be able to tame it Dude, right now. The giraffe in Ark? That must be one of the Atlas creatures. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, an ice. Oh, they got a lot of stopper though. A couple minutes after that, the gas bag was tamed and I could finally go into the skies again. And by my surprise, this gas bag is actually really good. Since it's a wind elemental gas bag, it loses its gas very slowly, allowing me to just stay in the air. So with Blobby, which is how I named the gas bag, I went around the map searching for a backup flyer. And I ended up finding this high level Divine Patera, so I knocked it out and tamed it up. After that, I took Blobby to the desert area, as I wanted to get a huge amount of metal. I ended up almost completely mounting out this cave full of metal. I then put it all in the Supreme Forge and waited until it was melted into ingots. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to upgrade to the better Trank stuff, so I went and checked which Tranks there is available for me to use. And since I didn't really know which ones would be the best, I decided I would just test some of them out, starting with Prom Dart. Though for that dart, I needed rare flowers and mushrooms, which means I need to get myself a mammoth. So I went over to the snow biome, which was ridiculously dangerous. It was turning out to be impossible to try and tame a mammoth in this area. Oh my god. Don't do it. Oh, don't, don't land on that. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, go, go, go. I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. After a while, I ended up taming a mammoth close to the desert, which is probably the last place you would expect to find a mammoth. And if you're wondering what I do when I sit around taming something, I pretty much just start singing retardedly. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Come on, man. Oh, it's getting closer. Go away, man. You don't want to be here. Come on, man. Oh, I need to give it a new taming potion. Luckily, with the taming potions, this went fairly quickly, and before long, I ended up going back to the base with a new mammoth. Back at the base, I went towards this side island to gather the mushrooms until I came across this. 
They spawn outside my house. You kidding? Dude, that's a joke. Come on. Alright, well. After I gathered the red flowers and mushrooms, I decided to tame this one as well just to get a breeding pair. The next day, I went and quickly stole some cementing base from the dangerous beaver den. Oh no! Oh, run, run, run! Oh, backs. Yeah, I'll take it. Come on, Blobby! Yeah, Blobby, come on, man. Blobby! Alright, we gone, we gone, we gone. And then back at the base, I grabbed at the prom dart. And then took the Patera to go and test out this new potential dart. Please be good. Please, please, please. Let's check it out. Oh, it sucks! What? Oh, man. It's so expensive as well. Only 20k. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Even my Delta arrow does more. Alright, alright. Um, get these forlorn ones. Can check those out. Well, how much do you do? Oh my god, dude. Why, why do they all suck? Uh, damn, these Brontos are fast, though. But yeah, they suck. Okay. Um, well... Not sure what else I can use then. I wonder what I used last time. Oh, I tamed a. Uh, with my last 100 days in all mods, I probably tamed a uh, knockout dino. I should probably go for one of those. Because they were insane. I think. I thought they did like 100k torpor per hit or something. So yeah, after all that gathering, turns out the dars are really bad. Though to be honest, it wasn't that big of a deal because now I know to go for a knockout dino instead for the darts. Now back at the base, I was doing some casual gathering until I accidentally created the bug. Oh my god, what? What happened with the start? Why did I... I didn't change anything. Oh my... Oh my god, no! Oh, I ruined my trike! <laughs> I ruined my trike! Oh no! Oh, are you kidding? Oh, this is normal speed? This is super speed. Okay, wait, okay. Super speed. Oh my god, no, that's rid <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh, dude, I ruined my trike. After that, I decided to leave the base in search for one of those strong knockout dinos, which if I can get my hands on one, it could help me get much stronger dinos like dragons and stuff. Though stuff doesn't always go as planned, as I immediately got chased by something I would not have expected to be roaming in this map. Oh, dude, no. no oh my god. Why is it Roden? Go away, go away, fly, fly faster. Oh! Dude, go away, man. Go back to docks. Nah, dude, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be allowed, hey. Dude! Oh, it doesn't lose echo. Oh, that's a wicked pronto. Oh, you are a problem, man. Okay, he's gone. She's gonna get out of the desert. Yeah, screw that. I eventually got away, but stuff like this really gets my blood pumping. After a bit of flying around, I found this level 520 wicked Danny Shinehorn. So I got my trike out and started chasing it while I shoot from its back. Oh, don't go to the anime weird girl thing. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, come back, come back, yeah. No, 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 oh my god, come on, please. <laughs> don't, don't tease me like that. I'm actually scared of that thing. Oh, what is that? Oh, it looks disgusting. So, uh, okay. Oh, boy. I eventually got closer to the weird anime bomber NPC, but just one grenade throw almost instant killed me. You like that? Oh, well, why am I dying? Oh. Oh, there's another human here. What? Stop it. No, why is that torch bear? Okay. Oh, dude, no. It seems I just couldn't stop getting like chased this. by NPCs. And these ones were really strong, too. 
So I went around the island to lose aggro and then eventually got back to the Shinehorn, which is where I knocked it out. Yes, okay. Um, got some prime meat from Mammoth and then tamed up the Shinehorn. Ooh, let's go. Back at the base, I crafted the Parallels Bench so I could craft the Wicked Shinehorn Saddle, which comes with a big 150 armor on it. I then went to the surface of the island as I wanted to test her out, named her Sarah, and then attacked something to check how much Torpor she would do. Oh, look at this thing. Alright, so how much Torpor would it do? You got 160? Ooh, okay, that's not... Uh, I expected a little bit more, but... Hmm. Oh, he can hit quick though. Oh, that's not bad actually. Oh my god, okay. Wait, he's actually. Oh, never mind. He's actually better than I thought. Oh, dude. I didn't even pump any levels. Oh, and he can harvest? Okay, that's pretty hype. Okay. Actually, never mind. I, I was, uh, at first, I was like disappointed for a second, but now I'm actually quite happy with it. What, what if I pump uh, 20 levels in it? Let's see. Oh, that's not bad actually. Look how fast I can do it as well. Oh wait, I have a right click as well. I wanna test it. Oh my god. Alright, get out. Oh, go away. Go away. Oh, dude. Get out. Get out. I also tested out the right click, but that just did the same amount of torpor. However, it turns out this shine is actually really, really good. I immediately went out again to see if I could finally tame some of the strong dinos. I flew all around the map trying to find something on my level, and I eventually found this high level frozen Shinehorn, which if I'm right, these kind of dinos are actually quite strong. So with Sarah, I quickly knocked them out and tamed them up, made them a saddle, and I went out to test his damage. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's so good. Turns out this Shinehorn exactly. does even more damage than I thought Ooh, it I would. Which is great, as this oh, has the potential that. to carry me to the endgame stuff. So for the next few hours, I decided to level up this Shinehorn through the combat trainer. Which means that every 100 kills, my creature will rank up on the combat leaderboard and give me increased stats. Oh no! Oh, that's a boss. Okay, um... Let me see. Let me check the help. Oh, 2 million. Are you kidding me? How much damage does it do? Go away, Kasha. Ooh, 17. Okay. Oh, was that the best? One million? Oh my god. Oh, but I want to kill it though. Okay, maybe we should level a little bit first. That purple stinger boss you just saw, it's a Gaia Guardian boss. Though in order to kill that, I will need to level up my Shine on a bit more before I can take that on. And so far, I only have 34 kills on the leaderboard, which isn't that much. So for the rest of the night, I killed absolutely everything until I got my first rank up. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. After that, I immediately went back to the purple stinger and started killing it. Alright, let's go. Come on, man. I hope he gives good loot. Oh, 70k, that's quite hard hitting. And I can't stun him with my frozen buff, so that's bad. Oh, he's gonna go in the water? Don't do that. And this boss wasn't the hardest, but I did frequently have to make sure I use some healing items, otherwise my shine on would die. Though nonetheless, I still killed it in the end. Alright, should be dead. What did he give me? Wait, what? What? Oh, he gave bad loot. Unfortunately, in the end, it really did kind of feel like a waste of time, but still, it gave me a good amount of XP, which is enough for me. A bit later, I did came across my old enemy, which oh, I could that? finally take revenge on. Well, well, well. What's up, the b- Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then went towards the snowbine, as I wanted to get some polymer for a soul gun. However, I walked there with my shine on, so I could continue to level up. At this point, I already made it to rank 3, which is the elite rank, which means I am now at the legendary rank. I then flew back to the base, where I crafted a soul gun that allows me to easily ball dinos up. And then decided to take a peek into the workbench of the gods, to see what it takes to craft the kibble that is required to tame a god. So to tame a god, I need these dung bells, which honestly, it doesn't seem too hard to craft, but I would first need to kill strong dinos for the element, which I can't just do yet. For that, I need at least a dragon or something else wrong. From the look of it, it also seems that I can make godly armor with these bells, which would be really nice to have. And the third thing we could do with these bells is craft a god, which is quite expensive. So with that knowledge, I knew exactly what my next goal would be in order to make it to the god themes. I now need to find a really strong dino. I eventually found this low level god wolf, which looked really cool, so I immediately knocked it out with Sarah. Though turns out when I went and gave it a taming potion, the potion didn't work on this godly wolf. The taming took so long, I eventually knocked out this cool looking guardian patera to give Kevin an upgrade. Yes! We're gonna get a new patera done. Nice. 
Once the wolf was done taming, I immediately tested it out. He ended up only doing 300 damage, which was a bit of a disappointment, but I wasn't too annoyed since I mostly wanted him for his cool appearance anyway. I eventually got back on my bird and headed home, as there wasn't really any strong dinos that I could tame at this moment, so instead I decided to give my home a nice upgrade, as I can't really keep living on just a few attached foundations. So after a bunch of wood gathered trips and stone gathered trips, I eventually made this stone box. I did make sure to put everything nicely lined up with the foundation, so storage on the right and then on the left here I got all the workbenches. And honestly, I did not have any inspiration for a build, but I'm quite happy with this one. After this, I immediately went out to tame that strong creature I've been planning to tame. I found this prom Dodorexi I wanted to try and tame, but he got attacked by so much dinos that he just ended up dead. I tried it again with a different Dodorexi, but he too immediately died. This desert really isn't the ideal place to tame stuff. I did however found this dragon, which if you remember, I got one of these in the last 100 day old mother video. Ooh, I forgot about these. Oh man, these guys are really good actually. Oh my, what the heck? <laughs> what? Nah, nah man, okay, okay. This desert is way too crazy. I immediately got back on my bird as I was too scared to continue on foot. I did also go back to the base to quickly check what I would need to make the food to tame such a dragon and for this we need a promised brain. However to make that I would need to kill a lot of dinos in order to get their souls. So with my shinehorn I went and did a couple trips around the map to get all the souls I need. Once I got all the souls I could craft myself a promised brain. With this brain I will be able to tame a really strong dragon. I found this blue electric dragon which I now have to try and knock out with Sarah. Oh boy, how am I gonna do this? Alright, let's just... Oh no, there's no way. <laughs> no way! Come on, oh, oh wait, oh maybe on this hill? Come to me, yeah, come to me. Can I jump? Oh no! Crap! Go away dude! I need to time it. Oh what? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my, this is gonna be so hard, okay. Um, yeah, great. Oh, I hope Sarah doesn't die. Crap. Oh, that would be really bad. Since my stuff is now lying in the desert, I had to quickly make an eternal death recovery so I could then fly back with my guardian Patera. Oh, no, the- oh, wow. Four hundred thousand, that's insane, dude. Oh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Oh no! Oh, I'm such an idiot, oh my god. Oh, yep, Pterodon is also dead. Yeah, so because of my stupidity, I now lost Sarah and my brand new Patera. Luckily, I still have Kevin. However, I clearly need a new Wicked Dino now to knock stuff out. So, I found myself this high level Wicked Patera, which would be perfect to use for Dragon Knockouts. Come on, hit. Right, and then once tamed, I immediately went back to the dragons in the desert. There he is. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, we do 100k Tokma? Oh, that's insane. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, did this guy hits me? Oh, boy. Oh, his Tokma drops quick. Ah, well, there we go then, eh? Yep, you know what? I, uh, <laughs> I didn't know. No, there's no way. Yo, he's too good. I... Dude, stop following me. Because he has this crazy attack that kicks me off my saddle, I had to go for another dragon first, and this one was much easier to tame. I'm running soon, I think, though. Oh, we got him, we got him. Yes, okay, okay. Oh, no. Please, nothing attack it. I need to be quick. D okay, okay. Um, oh yes! Oh, we got a freaking dragon. Okay, can I ride it like this? Why is that boot? Okay, boot is coming. What do you want? Go away! Oh, nice. All right, let's go back to the base. I crafted the promised dragon saddle, and this saddle comes with 250 armor, which is really high. Oh, we got we are on a dragon. Oh wait, oh, it's also 1.6, which means he's even stronger than normally. 
Oh, how much Torpor would he do? He does a lot of damage, though. Alright, let's see if we can test it out. Don't do anything crazy. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus. Oh, my. Okay. 300,000 Torpor. That is really nice. So, it turns out this dragon is a knockout machine. For the next couple days, I went around the map ranking up my dragon. I got him all the way up to a thousand plus kills and decided to tame up the electric blue dragon as I saw earlier when killing stuff. Luckily, on this dragon, he cannot kick me from my saddle. So since I now finally got my blue dragon, yes, I decided right, nice. to get a thousand plus kills with him as well, which also ended up taking me a few days. Ooh, yes, that's already much, much stronger than the poison one. My dragon was doing around 3 million damage now, which made me feel very powerful and cocky. So then this happened, which quickly handled that attitude out of me. Oh! Oh my god! I accidentally attacked it. Oh, are you kidding me? 160 billion. Oh my god, I, I didn't see that guy. <laughs> I'm not ready for that guy yet. I need a gut die now. Dude, that's insane. All I did was, was attack it once. Oh my god, can I get a good look of it? Dude! That's insane. The leader of the four world fallen kingdom. And it's only a level 60. Jesus, hey. Come on, man. So after this, I decided to go out on an element run, which you can get by killing prom dinos, as this is the last item stopping me from making those god orbs. After that, all I had to do was kill some fishes for their meat and cook it up into cooked fish meat. Once the fish was done cooking, I could craft myself the god balls. And to my surprise, it actually gave 15 per craft, which means I'm gonna have a lot of god balls. Once all of them were crafted, the first thing I did was to craft myself a set of godly armor and then took my dragon to fight my first god dino. A bit later, I found myself a meat spider emperor, so I landed my dragon next to it with the idea to clear out the bad dinos around it. But that ended up with me accidentally hitting the spiders. Oh, dude, my dragon just died. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm, I'm, this is bad. Oh, dude, I didn't need to kill to hit the spider. So I quickly got on my wicked patera and then tried to approach the god in a different way. Oh, go away, bat. Oh, I'm so glad I got this armor. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no, there's a human NPC. Oh, do I do this? Dude. Yes. Oh, my god. Oh, god. Oh, dude. <laughs> 82 million? Oh, get wrecked. Oh my god. And just like I thought, this guy did insane damage. I got him all the way to the point where he was doing 2 billion damage. Which is absolutely insane. Though even though this may seem ridiculous strong, the bosses I have to fight are much stronger. So with that in mind, I immediately set out to tame a second god dino. For the second god dino, I found this mammoth god, which I also quickly tamed up by feeding it some god balls. Eat it! Eat my balls! Eat my balls! Dude, eat my balls! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, get wrecked. Ooh. Alright, alright. Sweet. However, I quickly moved on again as I needed to find some more gods, and not long after, I found this giant turtle god. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's tame that guy as well. Alright, um, tame? Oh, this guy is a pain to tame, isn't he? Oh, tame, tame. Dude! Oh my god, if that pickle, if that was a pickle and it stole my balls, I would have gone crazy. But it's a stupid bird thing. Oh, it's in the water. Actually, that might be good, actually. Oh, yes! Got the emperor. Try it, try it. Oh, yeah, stay like that, stay like that. Oh, boy. oh there we go. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, what a behemoth. Oh, dude. You just slaughter everything. Honestly, it felt really good to finally tame the god dinos. I've been seeing around and avoiding since day one. But I didn't have too long to play around with these god dinos, as I wanted at least one more before I take on the end boss. And that's when I found this King Kong general god. Yes! Oh! Oh, get me on. Let, let me go. Okay. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> we may have a chance against the boss, I think. Honestly, not sure. We'll have to see. 
and while I was playing around with this god, I happened to run into this one, which would probably be one of the stronger gods. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Whoa, oh, an 860. Oh, I need that as well. Oh, man. Oh, that is what, a mid blade? Hey, come back. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh, that might that may be the most powerful one. Stop, stop, stop. Come on, man. That may be the most powerful one. Are right, you coming as well? Oh, yes, yes. Oh my god, it keeps moving around. Oh, this is impossible. Oh, yes, yes. Come on. No! Oh my god. Stop. Are you kidding me? Do I need to be fast? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yes! Ooh! Okay, okay. We got ourselves a daughter Rexy. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Wow, what a beast. And he jumps great. Come on, uh, King Kong General. So once I tamed this guy, I set out to level up most of my gods. I got it to a point where my spider god was already doing more than 2 billion damage. And then when the sun came up, I placed down my army of god dinos and then it was finally time to take on the 4th world leader god boss. Okay, so I think we may have a chance, honestly. Where's the boss? Right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, that's a thousand billion, so... Yeah. L let me get my special scooter and then, uh, then I'm ready. Alright, um, whistle. Oh my god. Go away, bird. Oh, oh my god. Kidding me? I oh, dude, I was so excited for that as well. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Fine. Come on, guys. <laughs> my scooter. Everybody ready? Oh man, that's rough, dude. I was so excited about that. Look. Fight in the jet. You following? Come on, man. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, alright, all right. guys, come on, come on, come on. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. Fight. Oh, oh. oh my god. Okay, I wanna see. Okay, wait. Fight it. Hey, guys. Alright, dude. Nobody's fighting. Wait, I, I we might have a chance. Okay, the turtle is fine. Oh my god. That is extremely loud. Oh we we might have a chance. Oh my god. Turtle, I can't see anything. Alright, I kinda I kinda wanna remove the turtle because I can't see anything. If I need him, I'll bring him back. Alright. Oh, it's running! Oh, well, I'm actually successfully killing one of these. Oh, he's gonna die. Uh, 50 million? Oh, dude, yes! Oh, we, we killed the leader of the four mid. Nice. Did he drop anything? Ooh. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, okay. So, what, I get special dinos? Oh, oh, that's epic. What shelter is that? Alright, you know what? Let's take on let's take on that spider from uh, the first one day all mobs. Let's see if we can take that on. There she is. Alright, we know how this went last time, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna send everybody in. Alright, go for it. Go for it, no no! Oh my no, I gotta take my distance. This is Oh, oh, oh okay. Um Stop talking. Oh my god, she does so much damage. Oh wait. Oh! 
Only 21 million this time. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, wow. Oh. No, no. Oh, my God. Shut up. Oh, this is epic. Uh, Turtle, what are, you, what are you doing? Hey. Come on, man. Okay. Oh, the mid king Mammothai. <laughs> Stop talking, what are you doing? Yeah, I go. Oh, I think... Man, this boss is insane. Last time, she did insane damage. 1 billion. Now she only does 21 million, so this may be doable this time. A uh, turtle, if you can just attack, uh, that would be nice. Alright, my turtle doesn't want to attack. Oh, the King Kong died. Oh my god, like, no! The turtle died as well, okay. We got this, we got this. The food model is still alive, that's nice. Oh man, this guy, this thing is insane. Oh, the brute mother died. Okay. That is bad. Man, I'm almost out of heals as well. Oh, no, she healed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Oh, man. What is that attack? Okay, well. Uh, yeah, I only have one heal left. Oh, there's no way. This boss is... <laughs> Stop talking. This boss is way too strong. Alright, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give up. Damn. I've never had to give up before. I'm definitely gonna have to come back to this boss. In the let's play. Yeah. Oh my god, I need a bigger army for this. Well, despite this defeat, I still defeated the first boss, which means this is still a success. As for the boss I couldn't defeat, I will have to revisit them within my All Mods Let's Play I'm currently doing, which I really recommend to check out. If you like Haunted Taste, you will likely like those videos as well.